In today's video, we're going to test out this brand new automatic conveyor belt mousetrap. We'll set it up with motion cameras in the barn, and then we'll feed the mice we catch to wild animals in the backyard. So stay tuned for another action-packed episode of Mousetrap Monday. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out one of the all-time craziest mousetraps I've ever seen. Another automatic electronic mousetrap invented by a YouTube viewer named Axel from Germany. Now Axel is a mousetrap genius and he's perfected the art at using technology to make a better mousetrap. A few weeks ago, I posted a video on the first mousetrap he sent me, an electronic rolling log mousetrap. You attach it to a bucket, the mouse walks up there, it's completely solid until it tries to get the bait on the end. When it crosses the line, the trap spins and dunks them in the water and then it resets itself. One after another, you can catch the mice. In that video, we caught over 20 mice with this trap. But Axel was thinking, how about trying to make an automatic conveyor belt mouse trap? That's what we have in the box, the first prototype. He uses a sensor in there that detects when a mouse goes in the chamber, the conveyor belt turns on and shoots them out. Now this package has come all the way from Germany, so let's open it up and see what it looks like. Export Germany, UPS cleared by customs at SDF. It looks like customs already opened and retaped it. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. So here it is, Axel's conveyor belt mousetrap, one of the coolest mousetraps I've ever seen. The floor is a belt driven by a motor that forms a loop, and when it's turned on, it spins around and around. Up here we have a chamber, and on the side there's a jar that says bait. We'll fill that with peanut butter or sunflower seeds. Right in front of the bait chamber there's a sensor, but it's not a motion sensor. Otherwise, as the belt spins, it wouldn't turn off. Instead, it has an antenna with a proximity sensor. So as the mouse enters, it will activate the belt and the mouse will go shooting out the back. And once it flies out, the trap will turn itself off. One after another, you will catch the mice. They'll go through the trap like one of those conveyor belt sushi restaurants. Now for the power supply for the trap, I'm using a rechargeable 7.2 volt high powered NIMH or nickel metal hydride battery pack. Axel said if you want the belt on the trap to run faster, you can also use an 8 cell 9.6 volt battery pack. But what I have here should work just fine for mice. We'll plug it in. Our brown pet mouse will be demonstrating the trap. Go on inside. That was quick, we'll try that again. Well as you can see our conveyor belt works well, but if we're going to catch wild mice, our trap is not complete. We need to attach it to a container with a ramp. Let's go to the workshop and see what we can build. Here's the bucket I modified for our trap. Ironically it started out as a container for kitty litter, but I spray painted it, I cut a viewing window in front and a hole in the side to fit our trap. Now for the viewing window, I bought a piece of plastic. I'll pull off that protection layer. With the viewing window in place, we'll install the trap. It's kind of a tight fit, but it slides in the side. Screw in the bait jar. Then I also included a metal rod to secure the trap. We don't want mice crawling on the back of the trap, so I made a lid. To catch wild mice, we'll add peanut butter to the bait jar. You can see the ramp I included on the side. Then we're going to add water in the bucket, but make sure you don't get water on the trap. Let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see how many mice we can catch this week with our conveyor belt mouse trap.
Well, after reviewing the motion camera footage, it's clear the conveyor belt mousetrap is incredibly effective at catching mice. We tried it out at several locations in the barn. The mice went up there, tried to get the bait in the chamber, and once they hit that sensor, the belt turned on and shot them into the bucket. One after another, we caught the mice. Now, I don't want the mice we caught to go to waste. The water in there is kinda dirty, but I'm gonna feed the mice to wild animals. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys the mice provided by the conveyor belt mousetrap. Well, the conveyor belt mousetrap was able to feed several wild animals living in my backyard, including a raccoon, an opossum, and a skunk. They just love eating the mice we catch in the traps. Now, I'm so thankful to Axel for sending me his prototype of his brand new design. He has put so much time and effort through trial and error, years and years of work, and he has two more mousetraps he sent me videos of that are just awesome. A cannon mousetrap, where the mouse goes in there and gets shot out, and a ground level mousetrap that dumps it in the bucket. That is such a good idea and it's really fun to see it working. For question and answer time, I'm gonna start with one I get quite often. The viewer says, I don't mind if you did sponsors, but don't hide it. Do I do YouTube sponsors? Do I secretly get paid to review these mousetraps and say good things about them? Well, the answer is no. I do not get paid by any mousetrap company to make a video. I've met with some of the biggest mousetrap corporations in the world. And even then, they tried to give me free products, but I want to stay objective. So I always buy the mousetraps when I can. Sometimes people invent mousetraps, and in that case, they send me them. I pay for shipping, but I'm not getting sponsored. That last video, that mousetrap was really expensive. I bought two of them because I wanted one for my collection and one for the video, and that cost me $99.99. So as you watch my videos, just know I spend the money on the products that I review. That way I can be objective, neutral, and not be paid by some company. Now we just did taxes and people might wonder how much I spend on mouse traps a year. We had a spreadsheet with all the mouse traps I bought this year, the previous year, and three years ago when I started. And it's been about $10,000 a year I spend on traps. People might not believe I spend that much on traps, but it's possible if you start buying antique rare mouse traps, especially on eBay. Mouse trap and rat trap collectors pay huge prices for traps. I have over a thousand mouse traps in my collection and many of them are rare. Some of them are one of a kind. It's not unusual to pay $500 or even $1,000 for a mousetrap. But I'm just always surprised by how many people watch my videos. Over a million and a quarter viewers subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider joining them and hitting the button right here. I'm posting new videos every Monday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.